I mean, it's 400 years old, but the Vivaldi Four Seasons, winter, gets me pumped. I like listening to a really good choir piece. Also like a good country song if I wanna go dancing, you know? Hip Hop Hooray by Naughty by Nature. <laughs> I use a lot of Reddit. It's a great way for me to just keep in touch with basically everything. That and Spotify, because Spotify has a classical music collection that no other app has. 100% Facebook wastes my time. <laughs> Um, it wastes a lot, but the, I like it because it also has a lot of like informative things on there. Uh, like a lot of my teacher groups are on there. I get some of my teaching ideas from there. YouTube. I mean, that, that's it. Completely random stuff and then also live concert footage. My biggest hobby outside of music is playing video games. I used to ride horses all the time uh, and I was a squire for a while with a jousting group. I love to cook. For Christmas, from scratch, I'll make a I'll make a lasagna. I make the pasta, make all the sauces, and it's a spinach pasta. So the colors of the dish are, you know, the colors of Christmas. I want my kids to feel like they can share and be themselves in my classroom, and I am the same way too. I'm also myself in my classroom. I'm not putting on an act or pretending to be something that I'm not, and I think the kids realize and know that. You know, the kid that's always wiggling and cutting up in class and being told you need to calm down, you need to stop doing that. They come to music class and I'm like, that's a creative movement. Can you show the class? <laughs> You're meeting each student where they are. It's very much of an active dialogue. I have my rules and regulations that we stick to, but then once we have those, then it's all about having fun, exploring, and learning. Let's try some dances. Let's make sure we have lots of instruments that they can also show those skills um, in addition to um, like basic theater and choral skills. There's a strong linguistic component to it. I mean, it is, it is its own language. I'm not teaching the Vienna Boys Choir here. It's like we're not gonna, you know, learn music and it's gonna be at the highest, um, you know, performance level all the time. I want kids to play. I want them to have fun. I want them to discover. I want them to make mistakes in the class so we can see what it's like and then move on from there. And I mean, a mistakes in music is part of music too. And, and that's okay, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Exposing them to new music, that's another thing too. Uh, different cultures, different music. You are growing a culture around a unit of individuals, you know. So it always is going to take a different shape and that's one of the fun and exciting things about teaching. For me it's about the love for the kids to enjoy coming to music class and not knowing what they're going to learn that day. To provide them with exciting and interesting curriculum um, and activities that will get them up and moving and playing. Are they going to be playing something? Are they going to be learning something? Are they going to be singing something? Are we going to learn a dance? It's like there's so many fun things we get to do.